Hello. Welcome to this Fiery XF and Fiery Pro server version 6.2.2 .2 update technical overview. The new features shown in this video are applicable to both the standalone or channel version of Fiery XF as well as those installed on a Fiery Pro server. In this updated version of our flagship Fiery XF program, you will find that we are providing you with improvements in two major areas color and usability. Let's begin today by exploring the improvements in the area of usability. First, we have made a change to the Fiery XF uploader, accessed from the main tools menu. We have added the capability to upload visual plate curves, .vpc files, to the existing capabilities of uploading media sets, ICC profiles, CXF, 3CC, and VCC files. Using this tool eliminates the need to hunt through the folder structure on your computer to locate the correct storage folder, especially when the computer on which you are using FireXF Client is installed on a computer that is remote to the computer that FireXF Server is installed on. FireXF 6.2.2 .2 will also bring new support for printers from EFI, Epson, HP, and Oki. First, we are adding support for the EFI H2000 Pro printer. When you are driving the H2000 Pro printer in clear mode, you will have access to the normal CMYK inks plus clear, as well as the normal inks plus light cyan and light magenta inks and clear. In clear white mode, you will also have access to the normal CMYK inks, or the normal inks plus light cyan and light magenta inks, each with clear, white, or clear and white availability. Let's turn our attention for a moment to the improvements in the color area and look at how FireXF 6.2.2 .2 works with clear and white ink. Looking at the special tab for the H2000 output device, you will see that FireXF 6.2.2 .2 will support clear ink in the spot color clear ink, inked image, inked image inverse, tonal image, tonal image inverse, and bounding box modes. In addition, the clear ink coverage can be specified from 1 to 100 percent in 1 percent increments. Let's take a more in-depth look at the clear ink handling modes for the H2000 printer. First up is the spot color clear ink mode. In this mode, the clear ink usage follows the defined values in a layer or channel in the original graphic file. For example, in this image, a layer has been added where the strawberries will print with a 100% clear ink overprint, while the bowl will print with a 50% clear ink overprint. If you select the inked image option, clear ink will print anywhere that the pixel data in the original image is not 0000 CMYK. The amount of clear ink used will be limited by the percent value set in the ink coverage window. The opposite effect will be seen if you select the inked image inverse option. When this option is selected, clear ink will be used only where the pixel data in the original image is 0000 CMYK. If the tonal image option is selected, FireXF will generate a clear ink channel proportional to the graphic image. If the pixel data in the image is 0000 CMYK, no clear ink will be used. And if the pixel data is 100, 100, 100, 100, full clear ink will be used. Any value in between these two extremes will use a proportionate amount of clear ink. Tonal image inverse reverses this process. With this mode, if the pixel data in the image is 0000 CMYK, full clear ink will be used. And if the pixel data is 100, 100, 100, 100, no clear ink will be used. Again, any values in between these two extremes will use a proportionate amount of clear ink. Finally, if the bounding box option is selected, FireXF will generate a clear ink channel with full, even clear ink coverage over the entire graphic to the edges of the bounding box. The coverage can be modified by changing the percentage value in the ink coverage window. For white ink support on the H2000, FireXF provides you with the spot color white ink, inked image, 
inked image inverse, and bounding box print modes, along with the off option, which would ensure that no white ink is used. White ink coverage options of specific percentage values can be set, as well as spread and choke values. You can set a positive value for a spread of up to 0.118 inches or 3 millimeters or negative 0.118 inches or negative 3 millimeters for a choke. Here is how this works. Here we have two graphics, each that have areas using white ink and colored ink. Note the dimensions of the white ink elements and the fact that they abut the colored ink elements. After a spread value is applied, the white elements expand in all directions. Wherever the white elements and the colored elements abut each other, they now overlap, indicated here by the gray areas. Let's return to the original images and see what happens when we apply a choke value. When a choke value is applied, white elements will shrink in all directions. This will produce gaps between the white and colored elements where the substrate will now show through, shown here by the gray areas. The results may become a little more clear if we look at what happens if these graphical elements are printed on a black substrate. Here we see the graphic before the choke value is applied, while here we see the results after choke has been applied. Here you can clearly see that the black substrate will now be exposed where the white ink areas and colored ink areas previously abutted each other. Fiery XF 6.2.2 also brings support for the GS3 LX Pro, where you will be able to select normal cyan, magenta, yellow, and black inks only, or normal inks plus light cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. These same ink options will also be available when using white ink. Support for a number of printers from Epson has also been added. First is support for the SureColor P6000 and P8000 printers, where we are supplying RGB and CMYK Contone drivers, both of which will support the use of the printer's normal and light inks, plus support for the SureColor P7000 and P9000 printers, where we are supplying both RGB and CMYK Contone drivers, both of which will support the use of the printer's normal and light inks, orange, green, and if available, violet ink. If your Epson printer has been set up to use the optional violet ink, when building a media calibration EPL file, you will need to select one of the violet ink options under the ink type drop-down menu on the Create Base Linearization setup panel. Then when setting up your workflow, you will need to select one of the violet ink options under the ink type drop-down menu on the output device media tab. Fiery XF 6.2.2 will also support the use of the ILS-30 spectrophotometer and a printer hard drive, if these are installed on your Epson printer. Fiery XF 6.2.2 will also include halftone drivers for the SureColor SCT3200, 3250, 3270, and 3280 printers. Halftone drivers for the SureColor SCT5200D, 5250D, 5270D, and 5280D printers. And halftone drivers for the SureColor SCT7200D, 7250D, 7270D, and 7280D printers. For HP, we are adding support for the DesignJet T3500. And for Oki, you will find support for the C942 and the ES9542 printers. Let's return now to the area of color improvements. Included in the 6.2.2 update are two new ISO 12647-2 ICC profiles, PSO coded version 3 and PSO uncoded version 3, FOGRA 52. In addition to these two new ICC profiles, we are also including the FOGRA 51 MK Check 11 and the FOGRA 52 MK Check 11 characterization datasets to be used for color verification. 
For a perfect match of your proofs when compared to printing stocks that contain optical brightener agents, proof paper also needs to have an equivalent amount of optical brighteners. EFI proof paper 8245 OBA semi-mat was developed for use when generating proofs to compare with the FOGRA 51 specification and is also very suitable for simulating print condition 1. It is intended to be measured using a spectrophotometer using the M1 illuminant mode. EFI proof paper 8175 OBA mat is a media suitable for generating proofs that conform to FOGRA 52. This media is also meant to be measured using the M1 illuminant mode. To help you in setting up your workflows when using these new FOGRA specifications, we have included four new templates in FireEXF 6.2.2. In this update, you will find templates for PSO uncoded version 3 FOGRA 52 offset and offset verify, along with templates for PSO coded version 3 offset and offset verify. You will find that we have also added an important system improvement to FireEXF 6.2.2. FireEXF 6.2.2 will now be supported under the newest Apple Macintosh operating system, OS 10.11 El Capitan. The FireEXF 6.2.2 update is available as an online update for users who currently have version 6.2 installed and is available at no extra charge to those customers with an active EFI software maintenance and support agreement. Check on your client welcome screen and make sure that your software maintenance and support agreement is up to date. If you require help or information on upgrading, please contact your FireEXF certified dealer or EFI representative. You will see a notification on the bottom of your FireEXF client when your system is online, has internet access, and the update is available. When you see this notification, use the XF Control application to download the file and update your system. Each remote client will prompt you to apply the update the next time it is launched. Thank you for your time today and we trust that you will find the improvements and enhancements provided in the FireEXF 6.2.2 update useful in your daily production.